We're well aware that when things are hydrophobic, it repels water. But the thing that we sometimes forget is because it repels water, that means that it has a layer of air in between it. So that got me thinking, what if I made a hydrophobic straw? Would I actually be able to suck up water with it? Let's see what happens when we drop water through our regular straw here. So it's about what you'd expect here. Kind of just fills up the straw and dribbles out the end. Now let's check our super hydrophobic straw. Whoa. <laughs> You see the drop shoot out of it? Now let's see what happens if I try to plug up one end of it. It won't stay in the tube. Look at that. So what happens if I try to suck through it now? So if I leave the straw submerged, I can suck it up just fine. But if while I'm sucking, I lift the straw out of the water, the water just falls out of the straw.